is grab it and pull. And as you hold it up to the mirror, look. Watch. Where did it go? Magic. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, my daughter Ava and I are showing you seven magic tricks with mirrors. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for us and let's go. Okay, this one is a fun trick that you can do at home right now. Let's check it out. All right, Ava, I'm gonna have you pick a card for me, okay? Okay. Pick any card you want. That one, put it back anywhere in the deck. You have your card in your mind? Okay, I'm gonna reveal your card in a bit of a unique way. Come over here to your mirror. Watch. Kind of hard to see on camera. Can you see it? Yeah, the tail of that is that your card? So the secret to this trick is twofold. First, you need a deck of cards, and this isn't just any normal deck. This is a special deck of cards called a force deck. Every single card in the deck is exactly the same, so no matter what card your audience picks, you know it's gonna be the 10 of diamonds every time. Yeah, it was. No. What was it? The eight of hearts. No, it wasn't. You know how I know? Because <laughs> these are all 10 of diamonds. <laughs> This is something you can do at home right now, and that's the beauty of this trick. It's super easy. All you do is go up to a window or a mirror, and you're just going to simply write the name of the card with your finger. In this case, we're going to write 10 and a diamond. And to the naked eye, it's completely invisible. You can't really see those finger smears on the mirror. But when you add fog to the glass, it becomes visible. So it's really hard to see on camera. You can kind of see it if I move back and forth like that. But you're just gonna draw it on with your finger and then when you breathe onto the glass, or you could like turn the shower on so it gets really steamy, and that'll probably make it a lot more pronounced. And that is how you do the magic message on the mirror trick. Okay, this one is a fun magic trick from Japan. Let's check it out. Okay, so you're gonna take a little mirror and a dice. Now as you can see, the dice is reflected in the mirror. See it? What I'm gonna show you is really cool. If we just rub the dice, the reflection in the mirror turns blank. The reflection in the mirror, the dice reflection in the mirror, the dice has magically turned completely blank. All the dots are blank. But if we just take the dice, give it a shake, now it has turned completely blank, and the dice on bottom and the reflection is now completely normal. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so watch, I'm gonna change it back. Shake it and it's back. Now you can see the one in the reflection is blank again. Now watch, if I just grab it and pull, you can produce a blank dice and hand that right out to your audience. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. Okay, so let's check this out. I ordered this from Japan. I actually have a really cool app on my phone that'll tell us what this says in Japanese or Chinese. So this app will actually translate in real time. Like this is a video on my phone. So it's taking these Japanese letters right here and instantly translating them and translates it into English. That is really cool. You can like be in a foreign country and know exactly what uh, all the signs say and stuff. So let's check this out. You've got three different dice in the package and that is one of the major secrets to this trick. One of the dice is completely normal, has all the dots filled in totally. Another dice is totally blank. And then your last dice, some of them are like halfway filled in. Some of them are all the way filled in. If you look at the six, like from this side, it looks like it's totally filled in. But if you turn it the other way, it looks like it's totally blank. And we've also got a little mirror here. So the secret here is we're gonna take our half and half dice, put the five side up on the mirror. And as you can see, because the dice are colored in just halfway, the reflection appears completely blank. And when we turn it over, now it appears completely blank from the top and our reflection appears normal. It's a really cool optical illusion. When you flip the dice over, 
completely changing that visual. It's totally cool. And then when we're going to pull the blank dice out from the bottom, all you're doing is making sure it's positioned in the proper position. Positioned just like that. And when I pull the dice out, it looks like you're just bringing that mirror reflection to life with this crazy blank dice. You can hand it out to your audience for inspection. It's a super cool thing. It's really mysterious looking, like who has ever seen a blank dice before? And that is how you do the magic mirror dice trick. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna take a cup and make something magically disappear. You ready? Take this scarf right here, and take it and we're gonna put it down in the cup. Now put it down in the cup just like that. You can see it inside. Okay, so we're gonna take our other scarf right here See, it's totally empty. Now watch, we take the scarf, put it over the cup, and the sash disappears. Not over here. Ready to see it come back? Watch. Shake, and it comes back. That was cool. Ready to learn the secret? Here's how it's done. This is a special cup that has a mirror inside of it. It has a mirror built in halfway through the cup so that anything put on this side of it, so here is what happens behind the sash. When I put the sash over it, all I'm doing is turning the cup around. And now you can see from this side, it looks like the cup is completely empty. But if I turn it back this way, it looks like it's full. So you can do this with a bunch of different objects. This isn't just limited to a silk scarf. You could do this with sponge balls, money. If you even had a fully sealed one, you could do it with a liquid, like milk. But yeah, it's super easy. You just load whatever you wanna make disappear in the cup. Where did it go? And that is how you do the magic mirror glass trick. Okay, for this one, you're gonna create a crazy mirror image optical illusion with a card. Let's check it out. Okay, so watch. We're gonna take a five right there on top of the deck, put another card on top, watch. One, two, three. It's a mirror image. Okay, here is the secret setup. All you need is a mirror card. This is a mirror imaged five of spades. Looks exactly like a normal five, but it's a mirror. So it's like that card flipped. So if you don't have a mirrored card, the color change that I'm using to flip it can still be applied to something else. Let me show you how I'm doing this. So you're taking the five, it's going face up on the deck, just like that. You're taking another random card. The five is going here. The random card is going on top of that face down. So you're holding these two cards face to face with the five right there. Now, in order to make it look like the five flips into a mirror image, all I'm doing is bringing this down, dropping that bottom card, and pulling this card back. Just boom, and leaving it. And as you practice this, you'll get faster and faster at it. But you can also use this as a color change, change one card into another, lining them up like that. Before our mirror tricks, we're just gonna use our mirror five and change it just like that. A good tip here, you have your middle finger on top of the cards like this, your thumb at the back. You push the cards forward all the way until they're square, and then you're just dragging back with your middle finger. The quick motion, in and out, boom, boom. And that is how you do the magic mirror card trick. Okay, this magic <clears throat> trick is called It's Done With Mirrors. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have four cards here, the four of diamonds, four of spades, four of hearts, and the four of clubs. So we're gonna square them up and as I count them out, one of the cards turns face down, the four of diamonds. Watch, we square them up again, give them another shake, and the four of clubs turns face down. Square them up again, another shake, and this time it's the four of spades. So people very often ask me, Evan, how is this trick done? And my response is always, very simply, it's done with mirrors. Okay, here is the secret behind this trick. So pretty cool explanation to this trick. It's actually done with five cards. You have your four of a kind here. In this case, it is four fours. Spade, heart, club, and diamond. And then your other card is a blank face card with a mirror attached to the front. On the back of the fours, there are mirrors on each one. And this is very simple. Your setup is like this. Face down card, the four fours, just like that squared up. You hold the cards in a right hand biddle grip and you're gonna count them off with the thumb of this hand off the top. So that four, that four, that four. But on this last one, you're gonna hold these two cards as one. So we're counting one, two, three, showing the four cards and then squaring them up right there. Snapping your fingers, giving it a wave. You're repeating that exact same move and it's making it look like 
one of the cards turns face down. Same thing, you've got two cards held as one on this last one. Now you're squaring them up again, repeating the exact same move over and it's making a different one of the cards turn face down. You're then repeating this process two more times to get you back into this position here. You're showing the cards and then taking these top three, which is actually four, turning them face down like you're turning the page of a book, and then you're doing this count. It's like a false count. You're showing the back of the card, which is your blank face, counting off the top with your thumb, one. That card remains constant the whole time, but it creates that illusion that you're showing the back of each card as you pull it off. So it creates this impossible thing in people's minds that each one of the cards is actually double-sided mirror. Just absolutely mind-blowing trick. And that is how you do the Magic Mirrors card trick. For this one, we're gonna do something crazy with the card box. Let's check it out. So we're going to take a deck of cards and watch. Hand empty, look. And just like that, the box of cards face turns into a mirror image. You can hand this out to your audience as a really cool illusion, and it really is a printed deck of bicycle playing cards. Okay, here is the secret setup. So the secret to this is a special playing card. On this side it is a normal printed back, and on this side it's the face of a box. The other secret is a specially printed box. From the US Playing Card Company, the company that makes bicycle playing cards, it has a mirrored image on the face of the box. So it's really simple, you just take your card, place it over the box, and it makes it look like a normal deck of playing cards. So now to make the change, you're just gonna place your hand over, Slide the card off and pull it into your basic palm position, just like that, and drop that to your side. You can ditch the card into your pocket. You can show off your mirror face deck of cards and hand that out to your audience, and you can show it in a mirror to make it normal again. And that is how you do the magic mirror box of cards. Okay, for this one, you're gonna use a special technique to reveal a secret message in the mirror. Let's check it out. Okay, for this one, you're gonna have your spectator pick a card. So they pick a card, let's say in this case, they go with the three of hearts. I have them put the card back anywhere they want in the deck, square it up, lose it inside, and then you're gonna call attention to the piece of paper that's been on the table the whole time. It has some weird, like, crazy squiggles on it, you can't really tell what it is, and say, watch, this is actually gonna tell us what your card is. Come with me. So as you hold the message up to a mirror, it is revealed that it says Three of Hearts. The name of their card is revealed. You can reveal all sorts of different messages with this. It's not limited to just card reveals. So let's learn the secret right now. Okay, here is the secret behind the trick. So if you want to force a card on them to do the reveal, there are a lot of different methods to do that. I'll link a video in the description that'll teach you 10 different ways to force a card. So this is a special technique called reflective writing. And you're basically just writing a phrase backwards so that when you show it in a mirror, it appears the right way and people can read it. So it's really simple to do, say I want to write uh, the word Bob. I would write a line here, boom, and that's Bob backwards. Now, if I put this in a mirror, it appears the right way. Now, I like to get kind of creative with the drawing and make it kind of abstract. It makes it harder to read when you're leaving the message sitting on the table. You can be assured that they're not gonna decipher what that is. When you hold it up in a mirror, it becomes very clear what it says. So you can do this with like people's names that they've thought of, a number, like a favorite color, something like that. It's also great to do card reveals as you see. So try this one at home. Practice getting good at your backwards writing, your reflective writing, and try it out. Let me know your results. And that is how you do the magic reflective writing trick. All right guys, it is bonus trick time. So I'm gonna make this ball disappear. Where'd it go? And it will appear in my What? Whoa, that was awesome. Okay, here is the secret. This is an awesome magic trick that is now available in the Evanera TV shop at www.evaneratv.com. We are shipping these worldwide. This is the classic ball and vase trick. It's got this little false ball on top. You put that on top of the cup. It looks like your little red ball is inside, but you've secretly got this in your pocket. You then put the lid on, give it a little magical wave, snap your fingers, say a magical word, abracadabra, pull the lid off, and the ball has magically disappeared and jumped all the way into to your pocket. This trick is perfect for any beginning magician, any beginner out there. This should definitely be in your repertoire. Or even if you're a little bit more advanced magician, if you don't have this trick in your arsenal, you are sleeping and you need to pick one up. Super simple, the little false top just fits into the lid. You hold it like that, you can make it appear, 
and disappear. Super cool and super easy. Super easy to do. A perfect holiday gift for that special someone. So head over to the Evanera TV Laugh at Life shop right now and place your order. We are shipping these all over the world. So get yours today. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the mirror gimmicks that you see in this video. All the mirror props, the mirror cup, the mirror cards, the mirror dice, all the props in the video are up for grabs in the giveaway. In order to win, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, and leave a comment in the comment section below. You can leave as many comments as you want. The more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning. I will pick comments from the comment section, and I will mail you your very own mirror trick so that you can do it at home. So leave a comment in the comment section. Make it a funny, positive comment, something we can all laugh at or enjoy. So be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Share the video on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. And make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Guys, I actually have a secret second channel on YouTube that you probably don't know about. It is my vlog channel. There is a link in the description. Please check it out. Go subscribe. There's a lot of cool content on that channel that you don't see on this channel. I've uploaded some really cool videos on there recently. So go subscribe. There's really cool travel videos on there. Really exciting content. So go check it out. That is my second channel. Link is in the description. I'll also put a mobile card on here and something on the end screen that you can click on. So go check it out. All right, guys. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. All right guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for our channel so you can be the first to watch new videos as soon as we upload them. Until next time, click right over here to watch another How To Magic video and thank you for coming back to Evan Era TV where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life.